You know, a few weeks ago, we picked up an old, worn out 1981 Z28 Camaro for 2,500 bucks. First thing we're gonna do to this car is get rid of that old nasty plastic nose and put an early split bumper front end on it. And for that, we went to Classic Industries because they've got a kit that will convert a standard 70 through 73 Camaro to a rally sport Camaro. Check it out. The kit starts out with new front sheet metal, both the lower valance panel and the upper header panel. And as you can see, these are stamped and welded together just like the original pieces. Then of course you have the urethane nose, you have the chrome trim that goes down inside of that, and then you have both grills that drop inside of that. Then of course you have the new hood latch, the brackets, the hardware, everything you're gonna need to make this happen. Now, one of the cool things about the Rally Sport nose are the extra lights right here above the bumper. Well, of course, those come in the kit, and the most important piece are these little bumperettes that mount on either side of the nose and give the split bumper its personality. Now, it's important to remember that this is a kit to convert a 70 through 73 standard nose to a Rally Sport. If your car is later than that, 74 on up, like ours is, you're gonna need more than this to pull this conversion off. First of all, you're gonna need some 70 through 73 front fenders. Now, these will bolt right on your car, but they're the only fender that's gonna work with that nose. Then, of course, you're gonna need all the brackets and hardware to mount the bumpers. Those bumperettes have gotta to bolt to something. Then you're gonna need all the headlight hardware, the bezels, the buckets, the mounting brackets, the lights, the trim rings, the pigtails, the hardware, even the marker lights. All of this stuff is available at Classic Industries. And like I said, it's just like a big buffet. All right, finally, we are ready to fit the new fenders. And believe it or not, they are gonna bolt right in place of the original fenders using the original hardware. Now for now, we're just gonna rough fit them in place and do the final fitting and tweaking and shimming once we have it all together. Now we come to the big question that people have about this swap, the radiator core support. Do you have to replace it? Because if you're doing this on a running, driving car, there's a lot of people that don't want to pull out the radiator and whatever air conditioning condenser and lines you may have here and, and the wiring to replace the core support. But some people tell you you have to, some people tell you you don't. So what's the deal? Well, we've already shown you how you can modify the late core support to fit the early fenders, but you gotta do more than that to fit the nose. For example, you're gonna have to drill some holes to mount the headlight mounting bracket, and you're gonna have to drill some holes to mount the Rally Sport bumper brackets. Also, you're gonna need to trim these corners off to fit the earlier valence panel. So there's some tweaking that you're gonna have to do, but it's doable. However, on the other hand, a brand new radiator support for a 70 through 73 Camaro is about 120 bucks from Classic Industries. And it's got all the right holes in the right shape to just bolt it in. Now that's the way I would suggest you go, but at least now you know you have some choices. Once the sheet metal's fitting right, the urethane bumper is next, followed by the chrome surround, and finally the grill inserts. The lights are next, and that's as simple as bolting in the new Rally Sport turn signals, and then installing the new headlight brackets and buckets, followed by the bulbs and trim. The finishing touches are the bumpers and the marker lights. We are gonna deal with the tail end on another show, but at least now, you can see what a few thousand dollars and the right catalog can do for an old Camaro. It's hard to believe this is the same car.